Hello guys, Napford Production number 704 here, and today we are here on a unknown table with my fly sculpture model. And today, this is a video that literally no one asked for, but I'm still going to be doing it anyways. This is my model of a, of a custom fly sculpture that I'm going to be using in my upcoming movie called Flying Scotsman the Movie. Now, this model was entirely custom made by me, actually taking a very long time to create. And this is the thing that we're going to be talking about, as you can clearly see here. But now let's actually get into the review of this model. Okay, so let's start with the body. The body has some slight modifications to it to make it look a little bit more like the A3 version of Fine Scotsman, but with some A1 type things. As you guys can see, my Fine Scotsman buffer has actually been broken off. That's actually been like that for quite some time, also with the brake pipe and hook. But other than that, it's basically... You see, well, what happened was is that when I was... I was originally trying to make Napford my train layout as you guys can see up there all the way up there that's my train layout i was originally trying to create napford well when i was that was it, it was originally in the other room the other room that's in there my train layout used to be in there and, and when i was building napford i was using the prototype or concept art of napford from the original pilot episode of thomas tank and his friends uh down to mine and when i did well what happened was is that i was accidentally reversing him off of the table and he fell backwards in a dive and there were some parts missing off him. Well, actually his buffer was basically the exact same except it was a little bit bent. I tried to bend it back and by the time that I did it actually fell off. The good thing is, is that I didn't have the tender on here or else the tender probably would have gotten, well, pretty messed up. So, now that we get into the review. Now, now that we're done with the Fine Scott's Now the Fine Scott's actually has a red running board. Which is something that's very clearly shown on the Fine Scott, except it's not actually entirely red. It's more of a line that, that just goes around it. And it has it all around. I don't have any cab detail yet. I am planning on getting cab detail. And then we also have these little black marks on here with his rivets. And also on, well, well whatever these things are right here, as you guys can see them. Whatever they are. <laughs> and then he also has, of course, he had his smoke blinders. Well, well smoke deflectors, smoke blinders, the same thing. These are actually made from plastic card, basically just being bent to look like the Flying Scotsman's smoke deflectors. And it's a pretty nice model. I would also repaint his buffers, his, well, his, well, his buffer housings to actually be black, just like the A1. I, I, I mean, A3 version of Flying Scotsman. But he still does have the A1 dome. And also he has the, the, the steam pipe, which is right under this uh, handrail right here. It's supposed to be on the other side of, this, of the Flying Scotsman. Of the fly, wait, let me just... Yeah, it's supposed to be on, on the other side. And also, he also still has his... Wait. Oh, sorry about that. He also still has his whistles on. Well, well, safety valves, really. I just like to call them whistles because, well, it's literally just like... <laughs> it's, it's, it's the easiest thing to remember. But okay, but now that we've gotten done with the body, let's actually get on to the tender. Now, the tender hasn't really changed much. The tender... It's basically the exact same from the original tender, except I, on the Emma coal chute, you guys can see, I would actually put real, well, well, not real coal, it's actually just charcoal. I would put charcoal onto it, especially some that were actually coming off to give it a more realistic look. I would also put coal, real coal inside of the tender, but it, it's literally just charcoal just glued on there. And that's basically it. I would also use a, I would also scratch the buffers a little bit if you guys can you know, barely see it. If, wait, if focus. Okay, yeah. But I don't think you guys can see it because of the way that the buffers shine. Maybe if they were black, you guys would be able to see them because black buffers usually have just kind of a silver area in the middle of it. it. Gives it more of a type of... I don't know. If you guys have seen the Railway Series of Thomas and Friends, you guys may have seen it. But, yeah, that's basically it for the tender. The tender does not do anything. I mean, it's 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 just the exact same, just with a few ad added details here and there. But that's basically it for the tender. Alright, now let's see the Flying Scotsman and his tender. We'll couple it up. The way I couple them up, I would actually replace the original thing that used to hold it, which was kind of a nub. I would actually replace it with, with an actual screw. And this is a brass screw. You guys are wondering. I would literally just find it. And I, I literally just found it in like my parts bag. And I basically just use it for just coupling these two together. It's also way easier because sometimes my flying scotch and tender would actually fall off of the back of 
the flying scotsman so i would actually have to put it back on and it would take a very long time to do so yeah this was easier because i'm now actually able to put the tender and the body onto the thing at the same time uh well, well onto the tracks at the same time all right now let's get the flying scotsman in his, in his tender couple okay so we got the flying scotsman and his tender coupled up together and this is what they both look like when they're both coupled up and i do realize that i am on my train layout this is the yeah, my table that we were already on except i moved a few things and the thing is is that about this is that this is actually a few days after i recorded the other footage that you guys saw from me talking about the flying scotsman down there and all the other stuff this is actually about two days after that because for some reason i actually had to redo most of the shots well, well, not really. Turns out I would actually lose most of the things that I was trying to tell you guys. As in, uh, I'm trying to remember like what it was. But it was gonna be some photographs. That shot of where the flying costumes were gonna be coupled was originally gonna be some shots. But we actually deleted most of the shots, and every day one would be deleted after the next. And and my dad wasn't deleted them. I don't know who deleted the shots that I was going to show you guys. We're going to be with the flying scots being coupled up to his tender with some music playing in the background. But we lost the shot, so just it, I was really frustrated in the moment. That's why I didn't want to, you know, come back. This. That's why I'm doing this like two days later. And we can also see that we had the flying scots with coaches coupled up. Now, most Americans. Oh, okay, sorry for shaking camera. All right, most Americans like me like to put this coach in the back. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to be accurate to actual, you know, British railways. British railways you usually put one brake coach in the front, but they also put another one in the back. Which is why you would actually have to buy an entire different set of the fine scots just, just to do that. <laughs> That's kind of stupid. Unless you were to find some LERT coaches on eBay. But who really knows at this point? Anyways, the layout has changed in somewhat of a regard. You guys know that I would move. I would move areas. We had to move a lot of things in order for me to actually accommodate what I was going to be doing. I have my Hornby thing down here. And also, Sebastian. Sebastian, what are you doing? Come on. I have the finger in the way, folks. So I have the finger in the way, folks. But here is a custom created model of mine whose name is Sebastian. Now, he will be getting his own review video because he actually has an entire story behind him that actually kind of fits in into the world of Thomas. So really, you guys just got to wait for that. All right, Smash, you got to go on the table for right now. No, I, I'll probably step on them. I'll just put them over here. Okay. Now that we talked about everything that we need to do in this video, let's actually see the Hawaiian Scouts going on. So guys, this is actually, I uh, had to break the uh, time there for a second because the fine scotsman just literally just stopped running. Not because he broke, it's just literally just because there's some dead points here. And there's literally just, I just gotta fix it. So I'll be right back, let me just fix it. I hope you guys like my review on my TVS. I mean, not TVS. Well, kind of RWS Flying Scotsman model. It still does have the A3 modifications, but also with an A1 type, you know, realism to it. Which is what I've always liked in Flying Scotsman. Because the Flying Scotsman isn't just one thing. The Flying Scotsman can be anything, well not anything, but almost anything you want it to be. I've always wondered what he would look like if he was a cab forward engine. And I'm saying that I'm going to do a custom of that, I'm just wondering. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, like and subscribe. Because I actually have a new thing that's going to be coming sometime in a week. I'm pretty sure you guys aren't going to want to see it. Oh, sorry about that. I'm pretty sure you guys are, are going to want to see it. So, I would consider doing that. But, 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 but I'm not forcing you to. You don't have to if you don't want to. Anyways, bye guys. Me and the Fine Scotsman. We'll see you later.
And uh, don't run to find Scotsman at full speeds. I have had a very, very bad experience with it. Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought that that would have been an outcome? We're running a flying Scotsman model at full f speed.